I, I got think a new I microphone. I new microphone. I did. I got a deal. It was a hundred bucks, and the microphone's worth two. I got one of the fancy sure ones. Where is it? Where is she? Oh, this. I got one of these puppies. Newer? No, I got one of these guys. Oh, nice. Uh, so we're gonna try and we're gonna try and call. Hey, we're gonna start a little uh, GoFundMe in the description. Ma, buy me a microphone. This will. <laughs> We're not using Hey, this. look, Ma, I made it. Just to let everybody know this, if we use this, the podcast would be good. <laughs> so The podcast is already good. I'm going to spend it. this entire podcast like trying to make to get you us guys to feel like better. yourselves. Because <laughs> oh. I'm I, sitting here like, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I've wanted to do this for so long. You guys are like, this is fucking stupid. It is pretty stupid. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Is no, does nobody see what I look like right now? <laughs> say this is stupid <laughs> <laughs> all right guys welcome back to the bells and whistles podcast ryan quigley and Eve from bernie today we have a very special guest oh uh, and you know we say it every time no we don't no we don't <laughs> we say it every time but this time this time this, this time. is long awaited an it apology is. to all other guests you weren't special <laughs> wow <laughs> yikes we, we we also say that every time we too. also do we also yeah we shit on our guests a lot i'm not we, as important as gus bernie like well, I'd say you guys are uh, about about medium, <laughs> about equal, yeah, yeah. mid tier, <laughs> mid mid as fuck. Uh, um, because Logan today Riley we have Logan Riley fucking Bruner, my god, and his my character god. across the couch yeah. from him. You might I'm recognize him from myself. <laughs> you might recognize him from a, a little show called Stranger Things. It's an independent production. Yeah, a, a little indie production. I know. I watched it. Fucking. I just cracked that right into the mic. Eh. Yeah. yeah. We're drinking Guinnesses because I know my my buddy Logan is a Guinness man. I am. You know, normally we're drinking IPAs. We're drinking you know, no, no, no. This is... Yeah, just spill that right on my couch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, America. What a way to start the America. Podcast. I know you came. I know you came to watch Logan Riley Bruder. Uh, you know, an interview. You know, because you like Fred Benson. <laughs> my 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 best friend and business partner just spilled a fucking beer that I bought him on my couch. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, You look so stupid. If it's any better, I spilled it on my pants, too. (laughs) That makes it worse. You gather yourself. I'm going to start the interview. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. We're happy to have you here. I'm crying. I'm laughing so hard. No, man. We Okay, so actor, director, writer. Correct. Oh, a hell of a writer. Philanthropist. We do it every time, philanthropist. I want to add something new. What do you got? Sex symbol. Oh, God. (laughs) Absolutely not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've done a little bit of research. We've we've done our, yeah, that's what the kids are calling it nowadays, too, research. (laughs) Scrolling through TikToks, finding some edits. He found Oh, I found the edits. I'm I'm making the edits. (laughs) I was wondering where all those were coming from. Where coming from. Yes, sir. As you can tell, I'm I'm and clearly very excited about uh, our guest today. Right, but um, can I ask? Can I add one more thing on yes. top of sex symbol? Yes, a good friend. Oh, a good and long time friend. A long yeah. time. Kind of grew friend. up together. We've known each other since we were what, 12, 13 years old. Yeah, at least. we met doing a, uh, a charity event together. Yeah, we was were... it? A, I don't know how much charity. It, it was an event. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to be generous about how we I know. met. You're trying to be charitable. Yeah, <laughs> it's not welcome here on this podcast. <laughs> Never. No, no, we don't do we that. Met, we met doing being. MCs for a little event. Yeah, we MC, uh, baby. Uh, the host of the event just threw the two of us together and was like, you two host. Is that and your Jody impression? <laughs> I mean, I, was, I wasn't I was going to say names, but sure. Jody, how you doing, sweetheart? Hey, Jody, Jody, we love you, baby. I don't think she um, watches. <laughs> we hosted, uh, and then... A couple of years later, my my dad was working on a movie. Uh, oh yeah, two actors I know. A lot of people don't even realize that you're responsible for everything. I, yeah, I'm the reason the two he of you like us. became friends. He birthed us. It's true. He birthed us. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I uh, this is the other thing because we met on a horror movie that Logan's dad uh, directed and wrote. Um, I was supposed to be in, but I know. was booked. Doing I, I was else. I was a poor man's Logan by all accounts, as <laughs> I am right now. <laughs> You're wearing the costume. Yeah, yeah. It's not available online anymore, is it? Because I, because no, I feel like we've been looking. For I feel it. like once a year, you and I were like, we, we got to find the fucking mystic. Yeah, and yeah. it's not there. I, I bet if you emailed my dad, he'd send. He'd it, send yeah. it our way. Yeah, maybe yeah. we should do that. We should be, be like, I need footage for my reel. I need footage for my reel. Wouldn't be a bad do idea. Do what you yeah. did to me. <laughs> me as a chubby seventeen-year-old. <laughs> that'll do. That'll represent. Me I well. remember you. As I remember correctly, you were ripped. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. I did have a shirtless scene, though, and I was not in shirtless scene shape. <laughs> I, you were in the shower or something. I was in the shower. Yeah. I died in the shower. I die at the end. So sorry. Uh, sorry to spoil spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Sorry. For this six-year-old horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But anyway, bud. Regardless. Let's, 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 let's move to the topic at hand. Let's move to the topic Because we don't get hand. opportunities like this every day. No. no. Not to, in the slightest. My God. It's not like someone... you didn't see me on Friday. No. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. We'll talk about that later. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's true, baby. What, what we ought to... What we... Because... People are coming on here. They're going to, you know, whoever is watching has decided to watch today. Yep. They want to know who you are and they want to know, we're not, we won't go you know, too much into like, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. Sure. If yeah. you, you know, if you got fun stories, by all means, we do want to ask one thing about your, um, you know, your special effects. But um, that's that'll be later we, down the so line. So what? Are we right? going to say spoilers alert? Spoiler alert? Should alerts? we do spoilers? Let's do non-spoilers first, and then we'll do spoilers. Okay. So okay. let's save that for the for the spoiler podcast. cast. We'll save that for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. We'll save that for the podcast. Yeah, like the, the podcast hasn't fucking started. Yeah. What do you want to ask first? Because we we can't talk. about What I want to ask, right? Is you have now joined kind of a collective of of characters, yeah. right? That icons are, that are. Um, almost as much uh, as close as you can get to kind of modern day icons. It's true. Right? You know, you're part of it's this a huge show. You're part of this new. I mean, didn't, aren't they saying it's like the biggest American release ever? Something it's, like that, uh, right? First week, it, it was the most watched English show that Netflix has ever had. Yeah. Uh, and already we're, I think, a week and a half in now. They're the third most watched Netflix show of all time. That's fucking heavy, man. So that's heavy, and it's just yeah. that's just this and, season, <clears throat> right? And like it's not like, all three seasons plus this one, just this season. Yeah, no. In episode one, you're on screen come minute four or something. Yeah, if that my like, name. Uh, yes, <laughs> right. No, but what? So what? You're. But that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. like you are part of that. Yeah. That many people are seeing your fucking face. Seeing you, he's very fucking good. You're very so you. fucking so, good. At it. You smoked it. Thank you. Yeah. And it's just how like, do you go into this, right? You're you you get the job, you're excited, you go into it. You know that all of a sudden you're going to be a character in this, you know, you this might as well be the millions peanuts, millions you know? and millions yeah. of people. What did are you fucking know how are you going about shaping this guy? How what? do you make Fred Benson? I mean, I had had a pretty I hate to say I was lucky because like the nerves by the time I got to set were gone because yeah. there was a there was uh, I was supposed to film March 2020. Uh, <laughs> how'd that go? <laughs> yeah, uh, the day before I was supposed to fly out was the day that the whole country locked down. No shit. And so they were like, we're gonna delay two weeks, and then two weeks became nine months, and then yeah. I finally got out there to do it. And by that point, I was like, I'm just happy that I'm still on. Like, I'm happy that they weren't like, so we decided yeah. to make Fred Benson a local hire, and we're going to hire someone in Atlanta, and yeah. we loved your tape, but... Yeah, because that happens all yeah, the time. Yeah, it happens yeah. constantly. I mean, I knew somebody who had a role on the show uh, in season three, and was supposed to come back for season four, but because of all the logistics, they just, just cut changed it. the character and cut the character. See you, man. And it's just... That's just how it goes. Wow. That's fucking crazy. But, uh, but I would go to so far as that they would never in a million years would they find a local hire, an, uh, an anti-local hire <laughs> that could do what you do. Thank you. Immediately you, you come in. And what's great about you is that you've got, like, you've made choices. And look, everybody's made choices, right? But you've come in and, I've like, done my homework. You've done your homework. You did the work. And you've yeah. done this. And this little character from the, the get-go, you're like, wait, wait. Who's this guy? Something's happening there. This is the other thing that I, that I'll, I'll give away. I haven't watched an, an, a damn episode of Stranger Things <laughs> until season four. <laughs> Just so, jumped in. I jumped, jumped right, right in. in. He had no idea what, I, what the I, fuck I was jumped, I jumped I head first in there. And I saw you, and there was a there was a second where I was like, well, he, he didn't tell me that he was in the other seasons. Because it was just how well you... You fit right in. Fit Thank right you. in there. You fit right in. Yeah. I mean, I was I was super lucky because there's no ego on that set. Yeah. So it was really just like I walked in. And I know, like, right, you're about to be me. like, there's... You tell us the divas. Tell us the drama stories. No, I don't expect you to do ego. that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, you know, there was no just, ego. But, which is wild because everybody on that fucking show yeah. is a child, not Super only a stars. child, but a child who has mega been star, in, mm -hmm. mega star child from age 10. And they're all the ones I met, I will say, 
are all incredibly humble, which is just unbelievable because I did, you know, by the time I was 15, I had done like two or three commercials and had a couple parts here and there. And what an absolute prick I was. You know <laughs> oh, what I'm it's saying? It's so good it's that just... we don't book at all. Oh, yeah, no, imagine we nightmares. <laughs> imagine Menacing. how bad yeah. we Oh, my God. Oh, good Christ. <laughs> I'm already dressing up as a character that, I'm, that I, I didn't get an audition for. <laughs> Imagine how terrible I would be if I actually had a character I know, somewhere. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. That's the, but that's the unbelievable thing is you just, you know, you'd assume that these kids grew up with just things, the world in their hands. Right. Imagine having a Netflix show. Yeah. You know, before your balls dropped. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're a nice person. They're all incredibly nice. They're fucking unbelievable. Super down Good to show. earth. And the other thing that made it super easy. Getting a little easy, sweaty like, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little hot. I was like, it's time. <laughs> um, the other thing, the the Duffer brothers are amazing. Yeah. They're super kind. They know exactly what they want. Yeah. But not in a way of like, do it like this. But like, they just, they knew that I understood this character. And, and they get it like, out of you. Yeah. And they just, they knew exactly what to say to get me where I needed to be. And I also showed up and was lucky that I spent my first, like, two days in a makeup chair because I have that yeah, scar have across scar. my face. Right. So we spent, like, two days makeup testing. So I'm on set with the crew, like, meeting cast members as they come into yeah. makeup, not having to worry about the pressure of, like, I got I to gotta deliver. I better be yeah, ready right. to do you it. Yeah. And on. so by the time that I'm filming, it's uh -huh. I showed up, did my hair, got the prosthetic on my face, and then got to set, and everyone knows me already. Boom. So it's like, okay, I'm just here to do the gig, and we're just going to have a good time. Well, fucking and Let's do it. And, you know, I'll sing the praises of the character some more, and the Duffer Brothers, and you, um, in the sense that it's so kind of refreshing that you come in and your character it's probably why i thought that oh he was in other seasons you have this scar and you have history in this world yeah you've existed there and it doesn't need to be explained i mean eventually we get what happened to you and yeah. where it came from but you know in the first episode it's just like oh this is a guy he's been through something something has clearly happened yeah, here yeah 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 and that's great you don't you know uh, any other show maybe they would have you know we would have started we would have seen what happened to you right. we would have seen the you know flashbacks and how the how the you know the scar was formed exactly. you want to know how i got these scars, scars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's I I don't know. Like I really appreciated that. I it's still true, don't man. know. I it's don't understand it. what the what the demi gorgon is. Um yeah. yeah it's but season it, 1. It's, it's, it's season 1. Yeah, but um, I love I love Stranger Things. Yeah, you're so a do fan. I. Yeah. But the thing is I you, I'll, I'll I'll out my beef right now. I'm a if you've listened if you're a fan of the podcast. Yes. You know that I'm a huge pussy. <laughs> you know that I suck. I don't like horror things. Sorry, Stranger buddy. Things was my sort of ceiling as to what I can enjoy what, as yeah. a horror thing. And yeah. this season. But the, and this oh, season no. and, and the reason why I liked it so much is because they it was fake horror. Yeah. Like yeah. if you I, Lee Esposito, it was shout like out the to Lee. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was like the Goonies. Yes, yeah. exactly. It was that level of like. It was scary, but it was like spooky. Fun. But it was yeah. more sci fi. It yeah. was more trippy. It yeah. was more thriller. Those are kind of my limits. You knew yeah. the kids were going to be fine at the end of the day. This shit is fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, the shit that happened. We're balls. not going to talk about yeah. spoilers yet. Yeah. But the shit is gory. Yeah. Yeah. What's, your, what's it like? Were you expecting to be. No. You weren't expecting Gored it. Up. No. I, yeah. I got a scene that ended up being as my audition. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the, the I also rundown. want to know about, you, if you want to take this opportunity, I want to know about the audition process. Totally. Tip, tip the tail. Yeah. Uh, so 2015, uh, I got a script called Montauk for a character named Jonathan Byers. Famous Montauk. And I loved the script. Uh, and I thought it was great. I auditioned for this character, Jonathan, and I was totally too young. I knew I was wrong for it. But Carmen Cuba, who's the casting director, really liked me. Yeah. And I was like, okay, whatever. Stranger Things comes out. And I was like, this sounds Looks really familiar. familiar. Right. Oh my gosh, this is that show. Right. So I watched season one, fell in love with it. Watched season two, loved it. Watched season three, loved it. And I had seen the guy who plays Billy, his audition online. And like the, the distance that he went for that part. He went yeah. all the way. He went all the way. And so... Uh, Fred comes to me. And I get this email that they, they want to see you for this character, Fred Benson. There's these two scenes. He's a four eyes. He's got a scar. Uh, do what you 
Go. Yeah, do it. As, as auditions do. Fucking figure the fuck figure out. Figure it out. Yeah. Um, Four eye scar, you know, the evil past. He's a journalist. <laughs> and a yeah. ten inch shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that, you know, that goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> he, he gets a little... Logan Bruner in it. <laughs> that goes without saying. You just know. Yeah. Uh, he gets in a little over his head. All those things. Yeah. So I went out that night and I bought the strongest prescription glasses that I could at Dwayne Reed. Uh, I did the whole audition with glasses on and just like did this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, sent in my self tape. Uh, didn't hear anything for two months. Two months. And then got an email that was just, hey, congratulations. We want you to play Fred. So you sent in one fucking one tape. tape. You, said, you sent in one fucking with tape. The, what the fuck? <laughs> what a crock of shit. <laughs> Get off! Get out of my apartment! <laughs> get the fuck out! Spill your beer on this you couch! Didn't, you're telling me! You what didn't get ever you didn't, happen! You didn't get a Zoom call nope. back. Nope. You didn't get a director nope. session. You didn't get a I got uh, booked off a, tape. first refusal. No. You didn't get none of that. You none didn't get it. put on hold. You didn't no. get penis inspection day. <laughs> what happened? No, none of it. I got booked Wait, what? <laughs> off a of self tape. My God! My first self tape. No notes. Just. And I heard later from casting, because of course I emailed yeah. casting when the show came out and was like, thank you. This is a dream. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, your tape just really stood out when we were watching them. We were really glad that you played Fred. And I was like, wow. uh, not everybody who's listening or watching Understand, is, understands is, is, how is, unfair that is. is. <laughs> like, like it, if, you're, if you're an embittered actor... You're with us. You're already there. But yeah. for those who don't understand, normally, especially for, especially for like important shit, yeah. you send one in, you wait a month, you get a call back, you do an extra couple scenes. Then, yeah. you, then you get a, you might get a, 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 a director's session where yeah. you go, you hop on a Zoom and you talk somebody to a director and you read with somebody. Somebody uh, abuses exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you wait another two months and then you hear, oh, you've, you've made the top three. You might have another call back for the, you know, a final, yeah. whatever. And it's just this long, painful, grueling process where often at the end you're told, nah, we never liked you. <laughs> right? We actually offered the role to Logan Lerman six right. months and, ago right, and he finally yeah. signed the contract. Exactly. And yeah. most, and the the reality is especially, the story of especially rekindling. With fucking, especially with, <laughs> we'll talk about rekindling yeah. later. Especially with fucking self tapes. Normally, you send them off, and they're off into the ether to never be thought Heard about from again. again. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and there's also an element of like when you get a good one, you're like, oh, this could very well be fake. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, I and, hate when I get a good audition. Yeah, I mean, none of the yeah. names were the same. Yeah, it was like I in the show, I do a scene with Nancy. And yeah. in the sides, it was like, Rebecca. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy. And I was like, oh, I'm talking to someone who's a journalist whose boyfriend isn't around, and I'm asking if they split up. This is Nancy and Jonathan. Okay, I'm glad I know this show. I wouldn't have yeah. even known that. I wouldn't yeah. have known that. No. Even if I had watched the show, I probably wouldn't have done yeah, that. Yeah, no, you wouldn't yeah. have paid attention. I wouldn't have, you know. That's absolutely that unheard of, man. I'm very bitter. That's it's very insane. Bad. It's very cool, It was though. insane. Oh, can I plug for you? If... You want if you need if you're in New York City you need help with self tapes. Oh yeah, fucking I my god! Uh, you know, how to fucking you, you know you how, to, cannot, how to fucking you can't a, do better. How do you fu how to fucking book a Stranger Things role on one self tape? Uh huh. Good Christ, pay the man. Pay the man. You know. That's now number since one. we're talking about Nancy, yeah, I've gone through. I, I'm I'm very in touch with the fan base now. Sure. I've gone. <laughs> I, I've 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 done my research, mm -hmm. my digging. Uh, people are people are crazy about you and people Nancy. People are crazy about everything. No, no, no. No, 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 no. People are crazy about you. Yeah. And sometimes about Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, you're welcome on the podcast. Nancy, uh, whatever Natalia, you, Natalia, Natalia, Natalia Dyer. Natalia Dyer. Natalia, Natalia, Natalia Dyer. Dyer. Is she incredible? Yes. I think she should come on the podcast and prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I nominate Natalia. Dyer. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um, Natalia, we're waiting for people. Today. People like you two got your your friendship on the yeah. show. Yeah. Um, I, I've seen a couple of uh, of ships, perhaps. Oh, oh goodness. A couple of a, a couple of um, you know. Of of um of I need art. To, I need to wipe my brow. Wipe, wipe your bit, brow. Hot. People really like Fred Benson. They do. They, yeah. He's he's like a what new a relief. addition. To. I was so worried. Was that scary at all? Because I mean, there are some people who are like, he's so fucking annoying, and I'm like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Ephraim, I told you to stop tweeting about the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I had for to the level most it out part, a little bit. For the most part, people really like him, and it's yeah. really been just like remarkable to have people. Yeah. I've been acting for 14 years, and this is the first time that I've ever had people be like, I love your character. Yeah, and I'm man. Like, 
Thank you. What's your sure. response to some of the, the to the fan art, to the edits, to the? I mean, what I, have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> what do you? Well, have first to of all, say? what do you do? You interact with them because yeah. Yeah. You, you go to you go to his tagged photos on Instagram, right? Well, tell the people where to follow you on Instagram. First Logan Riley Bruner. It's my name. Bingo. Uh, you go Why to his tagged photos. It's just littered. Yeah. It's just with littered. smut. <laughs> <laughs> you know? With animated sex. Do you, do you like them? Do you ever comment? Do you ever DM? Because I'm sure you get some DMs. I get, I get a lot of DMs. I try and respond to as many as I can because I'm, I'm at the point that I'm not getting so many that I'm overwhelmed. Right. Oh. I mean, of course I'm overwhelmed. It's an overwhelming thing to like. I like, mean overwhelmed emotionally. It's not like I physically can't answer. Them yeah, exactly. I, yeah. Um, I went from before I was announced on the show being like, oh, wow, I got... 80 likes on this photo. That's so cool. And oh, one of my friends commented. That's the photo of me on Stranger Things has 25,000 likes. Unbelievable. And 400 comments. And I've, I'm like trying yeah. to keep up. And not make anybody feel like they're like heartfelt. Too like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, there are people reaching out to me being like, hey, like, you're my favorite character on the new season. I'm so happy that you're on the show. I love your work. Like, Crazy. I can't wait to see you in the next thing. And it's like, that's really sweet to yeah, hear. Because like, and incredibly trippy. Yeah. Because like, I was I was on some pretty big shows before this, but not in like this kind of capacity. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so now to really feel like I have people who are like, like people reaching out to me in ways that I've reached out to like actors that I really admire. Yeah, right. And like, I know how much it means to get like, even just a simple just like, like, thanks, thank I appreciate you. It like, so thanks, much. that really means a lot to me. I'm glad you connected to my character. Yeah. yeah. And so like, I really try and keep up with everybody, but it's, it's insane sometimes unbelievable there there are some messages that i don't respond to but they're they're because they get a little there are some people that, that they I'm take a it little, too far i'm a little <laughs> like okay you're already creating a parasocial relationship with me oh. i get it there there are people who really love these characters and get right. really obsessed with this show yeah and i super admire it but it's when people are like, I'm in love with you. Like, you're my reason to live. And I'm like, okay. Talk about I'm a person on a screen that you've never met. Like, you don't know what I'm... I could be a total asshole. These two will tell you I'm a total asshole. Uh, but yeah. Ne- like never once. It's, it's, it's strange. For sure. I it's believe, uh, perhaps a... A strange thing. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps a Let's weird thought. You will, you, you will not get a Stranger Things joke oh. past me. Everyone that I work with Everybody is like, hates. that must be a weird thing for oh, you, Logan. Be, uh, what an odd pretty, item. Pretty peculiar, eh? <laughs> I walked into work What's the, the word other word day, and they were playing music from Stranger Things. I had to walk up to my boss, <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding me right now? And she was like, it's just a part of my playlist. I'm just playing my playlist. It's like, How weird. I hate you. I hate you so much. Man. Man. So this is this is where this is something that I want to get into, right? What do you got? This is my plan. Uh, you know, Fred Benson has his own storyline throughout this stuff. We're sure. not going to spoil anything yet. But what I want to know. Oh, we will. Though. We will. We will. At some point. At some yeah. point, we will. What I want to know is what you imagined. If you could control the narrative, the next season, what what happens with Fred Benson? What what what, what would you have loved for your character? I would have loved. Um, this is also kind of a spoiler because you know this doesn't happen. Yeah, this definitely <laughs> like, how do doesn't we, happen. This is totally. <laughs> We're <laughs> already in spoilers. Sure, we just guys, half a spoiler. Guys, if you don't want to be spoiled, don't talk to me. <laughs> Uh, you could cut that. <laughs> Neil, clip that for me. Yeah. Neil, clip just that. send it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it works good with my mustache. <laughs> let's let's say this. Yeah. If yeah. if somehow Fred comes back for season five, my dream. Yeah. Right. right. I think he would be a great addition to the Hellfire Club. Mm-hmm. I think he's nerdy. Ooh. He'd be really fun playing with the D and D guys. Yeah. Um. I think that. As kind of fellow outsiders, him and Robin would get along really well. Yeah. yeah. I think that uh, on the other side of the token, if you want to make him like antagonistic, he could become like someone who thinks that uh, Eleven's responsible for everything, tries to like really get investig- investigative. I think that's the yeah, word I'm looking yeah, for. Right, uh, yeah. And like dives into like journalist. what's going on and like why are these kids involved and becomes kind of out. a villain yeah so i think i think there are a lot Narc. of things that i would have loved to see or i would if somehow yeah. fred comes back i'd yeah. right. love to see happen with fred but well, it certainly feels like they set up because they have this kind of 
angle with you're being a journalist and yeah. you're kind of you know you want to see this you kind of and or you're poking your expose head in the things. truth expose the truth it does feel like it would be a perfect fit for right. you to start be, you being the addition. town's look into the truth of right. things you know and there's very much a sense and it's what i like that like him and nancy become this kind of dynamic duo yeah. this like team that's working together to right. kind of try and figure it out because I love her and Jonathan together. I've loved her and Jonathan together since season one. I was yeah. rooting for that the whole way. Of course. But, uh, I'm rooting there... for you and her. Ugh, thanks. Uh, there is a sense in and like... you and me. <laughs> Sometimes, in, especially in season three, there are moments when Jonathan's like, we should give up the story. We should like run away. And Fred's just so like the polar opposite. Fred's the guy that's like, Let's ask yeah. everybody everywhere yeah. who knows anything yeah. what this could mean. And so I, I really it, liked that. I had a lot of fun with that. I dig it. I, like I dig that. it. I yeah. like that. What, uh, let, let's, let's, give the, let's give the people what they want. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, what do we think? Fred and, and Barb? What do, we, what do we think? I mean, they're together. Best, best, <laughs> best together. Uh, couples going forward. Oh, I know, gosh. I know, I know they're together now. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, no. Um, best couple. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something that's gonna be a little different than anybody else. I want to see who Will ends up with. People like, are excited about we've what been, happened. We've, yeah. we've been, we've there's been... A little suspe- there's a little... Here's the thing. We're going to eventually go to spoilers, uh, but we can't do too much because I've only watched the first two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little... There's a little... Uh, but there's a little uh, something happening. I, you're coded. I uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and a it's been... Gay. It's baiting. It's, yeah. I wouldn't say baiting. A little, a like little gay uh, not bait. They've been... <laughs> fishing. They've been mentioning the fact that Will is probably not straight since season one. They have. Like, in season one, uh, Joyce talks about the fact that his dad would always, like, call him a fairy and, like, make fun of him for not liking girls. There's a moment in season two where Mike says, it's not my fault you don't like girls. Like, yeah. they've really, right. like, yeah, they've been slow burned yeah. this yeah, story. Yeah, talk about a slow burn. But and it's so, there. like, I'm hoping end of this season or season five, we get we get to see that kind of paid off. That, like, yeah, Will gets his person. So okay. that's my hope. That's I'm about time. That. You're I'm in, in on that. that? Are we allowed to spoil yet? Yeah. Let's spoil dive into spoilers. We've already done the thing. Fred gets murdered. <laughs> he gets killed. I watched my friend die this morning. He did. <laughs> my God. They do a little origami with you. They do. Yeah, they, they, they hold me like up. a pretzel. Yeah. They snap him up like a little pretzel. <laughs> And it was the sound is awful. Oh, I'm I, and again just to reiterate, I'm a huge chicken, right? <laughs> and can you talk about the prop? Like, how did they shoot it? How did they shoot it? Because you get you get thrown into the air. You get so what's there's like? there's two sections to it, right? There's yeah. what's happening and what is in his head. So what's happening when he's on the road, rising, all of that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they hooked me up to wires. They, they raised me into the air. Uh, and then told Is it me all to... green screen? No, we were on a road. You're on a fucking road. I'm on a road, hooked up to a crane. Was There's... that scary? It's, it's this... incredibly exciting, but also scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the scariest thing, and they did such a good job of taking care of me. Like, they always made sure I was safe. Yeah. yeah. But I drop. I drop to the concrete from like 10 feet in the air uh-huh. and they Did need you actually die <laughs> they need the start of that drop so they had to drop me and like yeah. not all the way down but like they it's like a three to four foot drop of right. they release me on Ooh. wires and, and then they catch you again and then they catch you again and so i'm in a trance right so they're like, you're gonna, we're gonna test it a couple times so you can feel what it feels like. But when we shoot it, you can't react. Yeah. You like, my, I can't tense. I can't like, and uh, so I'm, all I would hear is like, I'm looking up at the sky and like, I just hear, okay, pull, three, <laughs> two, one, drop, and then just, and you feel like the ground just rush toward you, and it's like, okay, don't move, don't move. You're dropping, and they caught you. Okay, okay. This is a good okay. thumbnail right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that that was that. Wires raised yeah. me up, dropped me down. Wow. 
wow, um, I would be so scared. I'll never work in Hollywood. My God. It was God. it was intense. And then they for the grave stuff, we shot out on a road. They set a car on fire. They did all that stuff. And then when I drop, I fell back onto a crash pad. And then they built a grave in yeah. a studio where, like, they had a sliding wall that would slide in and out to let me into the tunnel. Uh, and I was locked in this, like, 10-foot-tall grave with this, like, fake body next to me doing the whole, like, Nancy help, get right. me out of here, all of that. Yeah. Just in a studio. Man. Wow. And That's I saw you had, crazy. like, you had the, like, I saw you hanging out with the, the zombie people. Yeah. That must have been fun. That was right? really cool. Um, their makeup is just sick and yeah. incredible. And having 13 people scream murderer at you is a pretty good way to get you in an emotional That'll space. That'll get you there. That'll yeah. get, that gets me Especially hard. since it starts with, like, a little, little girl being like, yeah. murderer. Right. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about what, like, you imagine your friendship, relationship, you know, enemy rivalry with this, and with uh, Andrew is the character. What's the name of the guy that, um, who you murder? Who I murder? Yeah. Uh, he's just Fred's friend, honestly. Um, at least that's how I knew him. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. I don't know where I got Andrew from. I don't know if the Duffers are yeah. ever going to reveal it, so I'm going to keep it quiet yeah, keep for it, right now. Keep it close to your chest. But uh, Fred made a really terrible mistake. He he fucked up really bad. I mean, you see what happens to his car. Yeah. And then what the cop says, he ran home. He, he was in a car accident, and maybe he could have done something, but yeah. maybe it was oh, too man. late. And I hope he... this clip, this, this, this will get us some eyeballs. <laughs> this is juicy right here this will yeah get, this, this i mean will get me wow. put in prison i mean he's he's <laughs> netflix we're awaiting this the lawsuit he's a he's a kid like mm. right like in it's... season four he's 16 17 so yeah. like the thought at least for me of like okay you crash a car with your friend inside it yeah at 15 the car lights on fire and You're you gonna, barely yeah. get out like do you you call the cops and tell them that, like, oh, I crashed my car? Or it's yeah. true. It's, he panics. He runs. And it's, it's crazy true. how, and like, because we put, you know, these characters, I don't, again, I've only seen two episodes. No. <laughs> uh, um, because we have these characters that are, you know, they're saving the world. Right. They're doing this. We kind of forget that they're just kids yeah. at the end of the day. It's true. And they can make... I mean, I know there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of judgment on who does what and how people behave and how certain things like that. But they are kids and they yeah. are just making mistakes in this time in their life. And, right. You know, sometimes they... Thankfully, they do the right thing in saving the world. Yeah, but and it's you just know. there's there's this out this added element of like when you're a kid already, there's sort of just like a communication barrier with right. with a, not only just adults but people in authority. charge, authority, yeah. right? There's like yeah. a barrier where you, either you don't have the words or you're saying the right words and they don't believe you, right? And then you put on top of that, you're in this this sci-fi mystical world that even you know adults can't comprehend or understand. Sure, you know it's just yeah. like it, it's this perfect storm of like. I have something to tell you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. how. I can't. Yeah. I can't do it for whatever reason. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's kind of why you, you keep going back, you know? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. You know? Well, what do you... Should we... Because Logan is a multifaceted person. No, he's not. He's not just... He's not just <laughs> Fred Benson else. via iCarly. I know there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I know there's a lot of <laughs> people like that. So many memes. I'm, 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 so many memes. I, I, guys, I'm sick to death of them. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> The amount of times that I've seen the only real Fred Benson to me is this one with Nathan Cress's face is just like, yeah, it's everywhere. As far as I'm concerned, he was never the real Fred Benson. Uh, yeah, I'm disgusted. I'm by disgusted by it. <laughs> but there's more to you, you on the than podcast Fred Benson. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, come on You want to defend yourself. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, come tell yourself. your side. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but there's more to you than that, than just, uh, you know, than just this, this character. And you, you say so. Uh -huh. I, I think so. I think, right, what are you, where I think are you so. Going? Where are you going? Where are you going with this? Well, for one, I want to talk a little bit about Black Wolves. Yeah. This is our, this is our, the you Black know. Wolves, Black Wolves Productions, the Black Wolves Collective. We're the Black members. Wolves, you know, yeah. we'll give we give them have a our Well, we haven't received our badges yet. Our yeah. <laughs> They're in the mail. They're in the mail? Yeah. Snail mail. <laughs> Don't get me started on the US. We haven't received <laughs> our, our, our branding yet. <laughs> Your specialty varsity <laughs> jackets. Yeah, no, we get our paddles. Get spanked with. 
Oh my Talk gosh, this is turning into pledge. Yo, Jacob. sign me up. Sign me up for a spanking from the Black Wolves. I'll oh be good. Neil, clip this that. A, I'm not kidding. Yeah, <laughs> Neil, this is just, a, just that a five second clip. <laughs> put it on could. TikTok. Yeah. Put, it on, put it on TikTok. I'll yeah. say that much. Um, no, I want to talk about like what you're doing with that channel. For anybody that doesn't know, Logan is part of a is part of like a, a media conglomerate <laughs> production <laughs> company, production company yeah. slash collective of artists. Uh huh. And, and, and we're part it. of it too. Yeah. We're part of it. We're but you know, there. it's not it's not very often that you get to have the the CEO on your channel, the head honcho. So why don't you tell us a little bit about you know where that came from? And kind of what your what you what you love your mission statement, you know, to elevate <laughs> the world's consciousness. Statement. Oh goodness, uh, Black Wolves was uh, an idea pull, that pull Jacob. Pull the mic closer. I want the people to hear this. You can go ahead and pull it closer to your face. There you go, baby. Very just good. like this, just bit okay. nice I mean, and I, close. Yeah, no, yeah. it's just you wanted to. Uh, Black to Wolves crispy. is a collective of artists. Uh, it was started back in 2014 by Jacob Wade and myself. Uh, Jeremy Vance Suarez came on pretty shortly after as one of the three founders. Uh-huh. Uh, Jacob and I were pitching this this zombie apocalypse TV show that we had written to a teacher of ours. And we were like, well, we can't pitch it. It's just Logan and Jacob. We need like a name. We need to be a, a company. Sure. And so uh, we're... <laughs> the we're, Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. We were, we were in the hallway uh, outside this guy's office, like trying to come up with names. We were like, all right, Logan and Jacob, where can we go from there? Yeah. We were like, Twilight, Jacob Black. And we were like, all right, Black. Black, uh, Black and Jacob Black is a wolf. Uh, so, so a wolf, like Wolverine, like Logan, okay, black wolf, that works. And that's how our wow. name came. Or, no way. Yeah. I did not know that that's where it came yeah. from. It was just a silly, like. Talk about, like. And we just loved it. What a, a weird improv game. game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird Seriously. improv association, zip, zap, zop. Black wolf. Uh, and then we discovered there was already a Black Wolf production. And so we went, well, there's three of us. So we'll black, be black Wolves, wolves uh, production. I think so. They Three's can't copyright us for that. They nope. can't get. Uh, and they'll try. They, they will. Won't, uh, I'll stop them. <laughs> we did. We did Go some ahead. vlogs for a while. Yeah. Uh, for like three years, we made a couple of like shorts. We mostly did plays while we were at Purchase. Yeah. And then senior year, we were like, let's really do this. Let's really like try and take this somewhere. Um, Jacob came up with the idea to make it a collective, just like invite a bunch of artists that we really loved. Uh, for some reason, we invited Ryan and Ephraim. Uh, I know. That's a big, big mistake. <laughs> big mistake. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you. And we've just been trying to create things that people want to create. Honestly, yeah. it's we've seen so many incredible artists. We went to an art school. So like we had a bunch of people, and I knew just from this business how yeah. impossible it is to get anything made. Yeah. So And how hard it is sometimes to just be like, I really want to act, and I have nothing to act in. So we wanted to give people the opportunity to like right. do something and and tell the stories that they wanted to tell. Yeah, man. Without feeling like it was like okay, well, I got to submit to this this screenplay competition yeah. out of five thousand people, and maybe I'll get somebody to read it, and yeah. then they'll throw it in a desk somewhere and can, can ask me good, for my next thing. Can I tell you how good a person you are? Because if I were you, because I the only reason Ephraim and I do what we do is it's all self-serving. <laughs> I mean, know? don't get me it's wrong. Like There's definitely some self-serving. Self-serving yeah. and like trying to get reps in. Uh, but I really appreciate how your guys is like, no, we're, we want to, we really care about the, you know, the opportunity. making the thing yeah, and the opportunity, the opportunity whatever, to do you know, it. and you know, it's true. It's, you know, strength in numbers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? truly. I mean, if one of us rises, we all rise. Like we've noticed we'll see. Just, <laughs> just in the last week though, just I like mean like yeah, man. I'm watching Black Wolf's numbers and it's like we've gone from getting 30 views a week to getting 100 because people from Stranger yeah. Things are like, let's oh, let's check out. out this channel. Oh, they do these music videos. And it's not just like my videos. It's like videos with Jacob doing stuff. Yeah, and man. The spotlight trailers that we released and Country House. And like people are actually getting to watch our stuff and yeah, and man. discover other artists just because we were like, yeah, hey, let's make this. And yeah. I think well, I they think... haven't discovered us yet. <laughs> <laughs> You'll, get You'll get there. You'll get there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what you... Do I think you're selling yourself short a little bit with the shorts yeah. because um, I wanted to do a joke about short and short. It's not going to work. Um, <laughs> Neil, clip that. <laughs> um, no, um, I think like you've put together some really great. You've kind of established there was a world of characters for a little bit. You know, mm. with the with the country house, and then um, that came out of um, Alexa, Alexa and Martin. Alexa and Martin. Mm -hmm. um, 
And you have several series that are in development right now. Trying, yeah. So I want to ask, because I know you don't want to give away some of the stuff that, you, that you're working on right now. There are big secrets over at, at Black Wolf. But what I want to ask, what would be, you know, what's the dream upon dream upon dreams for Black Wolf's, Black Wolf's Productions Collective? They... You, you get you, like you, ten years down the road, everything sure, yeah. is gone the way Perfect. you want yeah. to do it. What's yeah. happening? What are you making? You know, your own cinematic universe? Are you? You know, I will answer this question, and then I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be your second guest in a row to run to the bathroom. In the Actually, podcast. I think I think Ryan went in Amelia's one, didn't you? Uh, it doesn't matter. This is the, the I'm bellhop. Not ta- I'm, not yeah. I'm not talking about Amelia. Yeah, I'm not talking about Amelia. No, we won't I, talk I, about I've Amelia. I've had oh. enough of her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm kidding, Amelia. I love you. You know, I'm a huge fan. Everybody loves Amelia. Amelia's great. I fucking hate her. Guts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand that girl. You hate her oh guts. my god! Look at me. I'm <laughs> You're <laughs> livid. He's... Fuck her. Yeah. No. Um. I'll okay. You so I'll answer this question, and then and then we'll talk a little bit about rekindling the the next project. We have a Podcast producer, folks. Good <laughs> lord, what was that sound? <laughs> I'll stay over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's yeah. like a foghorn goes yeah. off. Uh, ten years down the line, I would love to be in a position where a we have an office, um, and b I'm just able to like create as much as I want. Yeah, just like any TV show that I come up with, if people come to me and are like, "I want to make this movie," and I think it's good, I'm just able to produce it. Yeah. Um, honestly, I just want to be in a place where the artists that I've seen that are remarkably talented, uh, for example, and they're going to hate me for saying this, Ephraim and Ryan, who've put so much work in and so many reps in, uh, that just, like, like <laughs> for, for whatever reason, the industry is just like, not yet, guys. We'll get to you. I want to be like, no. Now. You guys get yeah, to be no. stars. <laughs> now that I have want, my mustache. It's time for the two white guys to get their due. <laughs> okay. Come on, folks. Let's go. Come on, gang. We I have... grew a mustache and everything. <laughs> you got to talk about that. I know. We're now like, what is it, like 41 minutes into this thing and we haven't talked about my, my why I Your have Your sweet it. stash. Yeah, my sweet oh, stash. My All right, God. you go you yeah, go pee. Yeah. We'll pee. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about it. You want to, I can, while he's gone, we can talk about why. I'm doing a play. Hey, I'm, I'm in a. It's already done by the time this thing has come out. But I'm in a. We're not. Play. We're gonna cut all this, but. <laughs> oh no! I like. I want to keep. I don't know if we've cut away, gang. But if we're if, we if you're looking away. at this, we're back. We're back. We're back at some point. Um. Now, as you can see, Logan has now. He's done a quick change. Yep. <laughs> Which my, are the? They are the Black Wolves. This now. is this is a magic podcast. <laughs> it's my unofficial Black Wolf shirt. Uh, it's from an anime that I really love called Ruby, uh-huh. and I just like I bought the shirt before oh. Black Wolves was even a thing, and I, just, oh, I thought it looked kind of like Bleach. Um, yeah, kind but of, but it's got the, the three skulls. wolves on it, and it's got the moon, and so I was like, you know, this will be my Black Wolf shirt until we're able to, to make merch. The I funny remember, part I, is I know I, a little uh, bit about Ruby. The uh, talking about origins, right? Origins. The or- yeah. Do you remember the origin of the Bells and Whistles podcast? Oh gosh. Um, I don't know if we talked about because we used to. I mean, like remember, what, remember, like way back the, when. You know, you remember the days of the Hear Me Out podcast? Yeah, I do. Hear Me Out podcast. Remember I that? used to listen to every episode of the Hear Me Out podcast. Yeah, I don't that know why very... you do that to yourself. <laughs> I was in that Colorado. Was very good. That was very doing good a play. Uh huh. And I was like, you know, <laughs> I want to hang out with my friends Ephraim and Ryan and oh, listen to them sweet. talk about clickbait the right. show. <laughs> and I, I thought it was funny that that Black Wolves has this has like just some semblance, as silly as it is, just kind of just like you know whatever the what, what is it called when you're just you think constantly brand identity no, i'm not talking about <laughs> um consciousness yeah yeah uh flow, free-flowing consciousness whatever sure. fucking whatever uh we we started doing this again yeah and we were like it can't be the hear me, the hear me out podcast because that's fucking garbage well, it was also that there were like 17 different podcasts exactly. called Hear Me Out. And I was like, yeah. Ephraim, I don't give a shit what it is. Tell me. And you just said, how about the Bells and Whistles podcast? Yeah. And that was Done. It. Done. I said, but it's fine. It's true. <laughs> yeah, no. I remember it I was is, I just kind movie. of like, what do you, you think about that? Bells and Whistles. I said, but that's perfect. <laughs> <Type> <laughs> that. <laughs> Put that in there. Terrible. But anyway, where, now, where do you want to go? Well, I've got, a, I've got an idea. Now, because okay. we're late in the game here now. 
Well, but we, he wants to talk about rekindling, and I want to talk yeah. about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about rekindling, because we, we talk about Black Wolves. And then afterwards, uh, we got two little segments, two little games. One I've got planned. Two and a half. Two and a half. Rapid fire questions. We've got and... rapid fire questions. And I have one that we put together just because I know that you're you're smart in your game, and I think it would work well with Great. what you do. Um, but uh, let's do let's talk about the next big thing to yeah. hit Black Wolves. Rekindling. I'll let you. I'll let you take the floor, baby. Uh, we are doing a web series with uh, one of our collective members, Susanna Scorsia. She wrote this uh, six-episode web series called Rekindling. Uh, we'll be talking a lot more about like what it's about and like just the journey that we've been on through the next couple months. Um, but it's it it's about a couple who uh, try and rekindle their romance, uh, and the leads in it are Susanna and Ryan. Uh, Ryan, I get to direct for the second time now, because we did Spotlight sure it's together. Third? I want to say it was third. Well, oh, you directed why. DNA. Yeah, uh-huh. I did direct DNA. I want to say yeah. it was third. Fuck, we haven't even talked about DNA that we did together. I know, DNA, I know. Man. Goodness. DNA, man. That was a great show. It was fun, man. That was like, I, I, for it, those, I don't, I don't know if we can assume DNA is a play um, yeah. that people might that people yeah. might know. Yeah, um, Dennis Kelly, great collective, play, right? uh-huh. very, very Stranger Things esque, even in the sense sure. of a group of, of high schoolers dealing with um, a bunch of uh, scary little things. Yeah. I won't, I won't spoil it for you. A little you. conundrum. Um, I but, say conundrum. But we, um, me and Ryan were in. We, uh, yeah, we played Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah, Logan, Logan put together a very cool Zoom, like really utilizing Zoom. Yeah, yeah, no, um, the world was yeah. still coveting it. Up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we couldn't do theater in person, and so we did a we did a little Zoom situation. We did a play film. We play film. we play film. recorded the whole thing like it was a play, but then we edited it like it was a movie. Yeah, we added yeah. little like vignettes through the middle of the scenes. We filmed a couple like. Why don't you guys things. make that live? Why don't you Why don't you put that on Black Hole's page for playback for people? Uh, because we only got the rights to do the show for one night, and so it was a one night only thing. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow! I've been huh. telling everybody what? that it was like a two night only thing. So like this one is, night, this is wrong. And how does that work? What you got to pay for rights or something? Mm-hmm. Well, for that one, we didn't have to. They uh-huh. were very kind. They were like, "You're doing it for charity. You're yeah, doing it over it. Zoom." We're giving you the rights. Yeah. You should but. set up a deal with them, and you should make it like a Patreon pay-per-view thing. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm dead serious. What's no, so I mean, funny that's over a there? Smart, that's a smart thing. Yeah. Especially I was just thinking of, I, I was, my, my next bit was you making an OnlyFans thing, <laughs> and that's why I was laughing. I mean, it is, it's, yeah. it, it was a really amazing process to get to do, and for me, it's just, it's really special to just be that one night, the people that saw it, saw it. It feels like yeah. theater to me. Yeah. It feels no, like. True, man. The people that got to see that production got to see it, and the people that missed it are just like, "What is this DNA thing that everyone yeah. keeps talking about?" That's true, we, it was really cool. Yeah. to put it together. I yeah. didn't get to see it. <laughs> you didn't get to see it. I told I had a family them thing. Yeah, that's why I'm. Butter. I told them about the whole thing. I'll send it to you. Will you? Yeah. Oh, don't let you. We could, they're gonna sue us. <laughs> <laughs> Watching. <laughs> <laughs> you were in it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about because uh-huh. DNA is uh, impeccable. But I want to get. You. I want to. I want to get this the spotlight. Another thing, the spotlight on rekindling. Yeah, because oh, this boy. is what people are going to be looking forward to. Yeah, and there's some great stories of how he auditioned yeah. for the main part. He you, auditioned for like one scene. I auditioned this for a joke scene. Part. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> and I made some really, sp- I made some funny ass choices. You did. <laughs> I made some fucking funny choices. And we were man. going through casting the lead, <laughs> and Susanna was like, "What about Ryan? Can you like get him to tape for James?" And I was like, this "I the, guess." This is the question I wanted to ask. You're like, "Oh, what a weird thing." <laughs> sure. Okay. Like, yeah, um, this is the thing that I want to ask you because his joke. In that first, he was auditioning to play on a, a bad date, a douche like bag. a douchebaggy douche guy. Bag. I was playing a douchebaggy <laughs> douche guy. His a bad bit date. was that Ryan couldn't stop coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was so fucking proud of myself for coming up with that bit. I thought it was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay? Can I release that? Can we can we put sure. that on this? We can we can, or I can give it to it Black. It would be really good to cut if to you want, it. Yeah, if you wanna... we can cut to your audition. Show. All right, I'll put it up. I do it right here. <laughs> I would do it right here in front of you. I would. <laughs> no regrets. I would. Yeah, she's hot. See? And then you can join in. <laughs> Yo. Imagine that. (laughs) (coughs) Sorry. 
So you said your mother is like a therapist? <laughs> I thought it was the funniest choice that anyone could ever pick. <laughs> hey, it got it you in the off. room for the lead. Got me it, in it paid the off. Lead. But he gets in for the lead. You know, she's like, let's take a look at this guy. You know, this stud for yeah. the lead, huh? And he came out. It was when you came to see Chester Bailey. That's yeah. right. Um, you were staying with me, and you're like, "I gotta do it. I gotta get this done. We have to do a good job and send this out to him." <laughs> I was like, "Why?" Did not? you actually say that? Did you actually want to do a good job, or were yeah, you like, Fuck "I think this. so." I, well, I mean, like the the thing is, like, I was on vacation, so I I was never gonna get to the point where I was off book. Right, so I was just like, "All right, let's let's give it a shot." But I was like, "Why the fuck is he telling this boring ass story?" And I'm just now remembering where you're going. Uh huh. <laughs> this is my story because, and I don't know if you noticed this. I think you might have. But while we were doing it, we, he was he was staying with me, and right across the street was a, a, a church group that had taken their their sermon to the streets. Because because it was they it were was right still outside. it was still yeah. kind of COVID. It was still kind of COVID. And people like they had to do had their to be outside. They had to go had outside. To be outside. <laughs> and they were singing they were singing you know their sermons they, they were loud doing speaker my gosh i gotta listen to your <laughs> go audition back and again. listen to that audition again because in the background there is a woman <clears throat> screaming at the top of her lungs She's singing. She's like, "This is how I fight my battles. <laughs> this, this is how, how I fight, fight my battles." <laughs> and they had like, they had someone dressed in a fucking <laughs> lion <laughs> mascot, and they were just going up and down. And everybody was obese. <laughs> everybody on that fucking lawn was obese, just sipping on Capri Suns, and you could see kids just like. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's going to church. <laughs> and you're and I'm, like, trying to, I'm trying to do... I'm trying Olivia, my, I love you. I'm trying my best to, to, to send you guys like an okay tape. Is this is good. Just, uh, can you do, like, say a couple of your lines, and I'm going to do the what's going on in the background. Olivia, I love you. But you're lying to me. Everybody sing together now. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it was. Honestly, and I, I so badly wanted to take the camera that we were filming and like just take it outside and show you. I knew it wouldn't have like it wouldn't have been professional, but we take it outside. You, and see this you guy. honestly think you still have to be professional with your tapes for I me? Mean, probably not. Half we the were... time, I'm expecting you to be like, "Hey, Logan, uh, happy to audition for you again. Uh, this is what I got. <laughs> this is the last one. We're really only all for only at this point. <laughs> we're on out." Yeah. Offer only. <laughs> you, you've actually been, you've actually given us a lot of slack because when we auditioned for Spotlight, we were we were blackout drunk. There was another play. That I was coming to visit you doing a play, yeah. and, and you guys looked at me when you got those parts and were like, "Could you tell?" And I was like, "Yes." It was we so writing, obvious. We started writing our own lines. <laughs> I was like, well, neither of them are going to play that part. <laughs> oh, what a, oh, that's good that's stuff. That's very sweet of you. We really, we, really <laughs> we really are geniuses. We really are geniuses. Yeah, do you want to give a... I don't know if you can... You, you want to give a plug to Spotlight or... I mean, like, it's always in the your back pocket as I mean, something yeah, that's going to happen. We, we made the Spotlight proof of concept, and honestly, it just didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. Yeah. I have a very high bar, but we realized that we had made a lot of really cool scenes, a lot of really cool moments, and so we cut it together into a bunch of trailers. Um, just for each of the different characters, I've written like a plot breakdown for the eight episodes of the season. Um, I'd love to make that show. I'd love to if read anyone that. wants to I'd do love it. I'd love to see where you were going with. Totally, it, I'd be happy to show cool. it to you. Um, it's good yeah. to have just that shit in your back pocket. Yeah, just in case. yeah. It was oh, basically, it was like Succession meets. I hate to say Glee, but like. It's about a bunch of theater artists who take themselves really, really seriously, and I was singing in it, and just too. like <laughs> completely end up derailing themselves. One of them's like really addicted to drugs, and yeah. one of them like assaulted somebody, and it's it's a really intense show. Um, you were describing our two characters. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I, was, I was also describing mine. No, but, you were also yours. Yeah, yeah. we were. I yeah. was. I just like no in one most on the show things. is a good person. No, no yeah. one on the show is a good person. It's true. Just, just like in most things, I was Ryan's little lackey. And I had I to was, teach uh, you guys how to smoke yeah, weed we, for that show. Oh this. yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> Daddy. You'd be proud of me. <laughs> and also, I yeah. you know, I don't know if it'll ever see the light of day. But there was uh, we did like. 
15 different takes of my audition. Yeah. Because I'm auditioning you in the You made something in the episode, up every time. And I did it. And <laughs> it was, uh, I really was proud of, I, I read the Wikipedia page for Jumanji. The, Jumanji the, 2, also known as Jumanji, <laughs> is a I, film starring <laughs> Dwight. I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, Ephraim, I'm supposed to hate your audition, and I'm crying. I'm laughing so hard. Fucking idiot. Jumanji is really good. And then, I, I, and I then we completely switched. I was like, can you do that monologue from admissions where oh, yeah, you where finish I'm doing a Nazi and salute? I'm doing, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> because we needed a reaction of us being like, what the Ooh, fuck is this? Yeah. yeah so. Like, that was, no, that was good. Yeah. That was good. That was when, fun. Yeah, man. So when's, when's Rekindling coming out? Tell the people. Um, well, we're filming through November. I'm hoping December, January. Yeah. I'm hoping that we'll be editing throughout and then we'll just be able to drop it when it's ready, but... Because we're filming so, a series that takes place over the course of nine months. We wanted to shoot cool over the course of nine like months. That. Yeah. Yeah. It was also just like, I couldn't ask Susanna and Ryan to take off four weeks from work and like, come do this little web series. I would absolutely. I think you could have. I absolutely. I think, yeah. I could have probably you gotten could've. you to do it, but Susanna's busy. She has a life. I don't she, know if she what? is. Susanna. <laughs> Susanna, <laughs> you're welcome on the podcast are. anytime. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have her on. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun to have her on. Um, let's see, your, you, let's do, I got a couple of different what's segments. What's your little game? We'll see if we, uh, you know, we'll, go, we'll get to the quick fire questions in a bit. Great. Yeah. One of the things that comes, you know, that, that I don't know if people know about you, Logan, is that just like the Hellfire Club gang, you're avid D&D. He's got the he's got the necklace. D and D, baby. You've was, played it. You've taught it. I'll I'll you've, plug real yeah. quick. This was made by my friend Rumor King. Uh, she's a cosplayer. Uh, it is a D twenty with an acorn on top as a necklace, and I love it. That's it's. You can sick. get it from her Etsy shop if you rumor. want. Rumor, rumor, rumor. Willis. Rumor King. Rumor King. Yeah, rumor no. Willis Welcome is on the podcast, Bruce anytime. Willis's anytime. daughter. Uh, what? Uh, what's the acorn for? <laughs> <laughs> it's just cute. Just to keep All right, it cool. there. Yeah. All right. What I, I thought it. we could do, which would be fun, okay. doesn't have to take too long, but I thought I know a little bit because I've I've dabbled through relationships. Dabbled in. Um, with That'll with D and D, you don't know anything about D and D. My brother's a big D and D guy. Big D and D uh, guy. So just little bits by osmosis, if anything. I know you've you've you know you've taken on the responsibility of dungeon master before. Yes. Could you just quickly make characters for me and Ryan? Oh, you're gonna make Goodness. us a, a fucking little little goblin or something? Could you? You know, you don't have to give what us a you? backstory, but I'm just curious. You know, if I if I saw and you then guys we'll do playing, one for you. if I saw you guys playing D and D, but yeah. they have to be on brand for who you, what, yeah. how you think yeah. of us, yeah, yeah. Um, I think Ephraim has to be a bard. What's a bard? Uh, it's the like the musical one, the oh, one that you, you have the little, power you have of a little song. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the little Twinkie one. <laughs> um, honestly, I think you'd you'd have really f- a lot of fun playing a gnome or a dwarf. I yeah. think you'd just have fun being like. I knowing you, you'd be like, I'm Danny DeVito, the boss. Oh, you know what? I'll have you know, the one time I played D and D, um, I was a bard. I was a gnome. I was my character was called Adventure the Gnome. <laughs> yeah, I love and that. I always wanted to bring him back somewhere. And I think Ryan would have a lot of fun playing a warlock because a warlock is someone who made a deal with like a very <laughs> powerful <devil>. entity <laughs> to get his power, Just and like normally is in a very <laughs> <laughs> Sad relationship with this patron. <laughs> uh, the old ball and chain. <laughs> the old ball and chain. Um, I do like the idea of a warlock who doesn't like going to work every day. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. What the fuck do we got? What are we doing? <laughs> um, and I want to. I feel like you. You might have a lot of fun playing a satyr. Uh, what? What the heck, Mister Tumnus? Yeah, from Lion, Oh, a the little wardrobe. fucking half goat. Fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> a little goat man yeah i'm in on that why not i like that i, I gotta get you guys i know uh one of the people from rekindling who we haven't announced yet so i'm gonna keep them a secret was talking about playing D, so i might do a like rekindling D day where like i get it would be the fun. cast together and just run a game i'm trying to think of who it is she nothing. plays val Okay, oh, yep. okay. Yeah, I get you it. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. very cool. I still have, I still have to, you know, I have to 
live uh, find my relationship with D and D again. Yeah, I love I, it. I, I lost I lost it long ago. I think you got to find the right people to play with, right? Because yeah. yeah. like there are some people who just want to do like let's be heroes and save the world, and there's some people that just want to like go around and murder. Yeah. And like my style has always been, or at least recently has become. Uh, I want a bunch of characters who have really interesting backstories who can kind of explore, like, who they are in this world. They yeah, might not right be on. the ones that, like, yeah. save the world, but they're going to be important in the saving of the world in some way. Right. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. like, their story matters. So I, I dig I've, it. I've I to like that. that. I dig I it. I like that. Now, we, we got to do, we got to do Logan. Yeah. Logan's the guest. We but gotta... you see, I'm not equipped. Well, what do you think? Do you think Logan is uh, like a barbarian? <laughs> I don't even know the options. I think <laughs> you're I throwing think, questions at Ryan. He's like Ephraim. I I'm really like, don't understand. I'm like uh, he's a knight. He's a, <laughs> what do you want me? To, I don't know. I I'm think, not equipped. Okay. What kind of like? I think. Um, what do you got? I'll build off of what I'm you gonna start. say. I'm gonna say. I only know a little bit, but I think you have all the makings of a, of a paladin. That's where I thought you were gonna go. Uh-huh. You see, that. I don't know what that is. It's this like is, a knight. He's a he's a knight that like protects his friends. He's like and a uses, knight. That, yeah. This is like magic that's from like an oath. A like, like an I oath. pledge to protect the weak, or like yeah. I pledge to avenge the fallen. It feels right. very much in line with Black Wolves Collective. Right. Exactly. To be this. Um, I don't know if they have this, but I would love to see you as one of the cat people from Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I play a tabaxi in, in one of my campaigns. I don't know if that's allowed in D&D. It is. I, I play one in one of the campaigns. Okay. Yeah, then, okay. That's what I would love. That's what I, that's what oh, I imagine. Oh, you know what? As. My brother tried to organize, uh, <laughs> my brother tried to organize a family D&D thing. It didn't, it didn't have legs, but <laughs> I wonder why it didn't, legs. it didn't have legs. It didn't have legs. Maybe we'll revisit it someday. And I yeah. think I I think I picked the cat person yeah. uh, as well, and I named him Mr. Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mittens and Adventure the Gnome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I You'll did. I picked star. one of the cat people. So That's yeah, pretty you'll good. You'll be Mr. Mittens too. What do you, yeah, right. and you're you're you'll be a goat man. You'll be I'll a be goat a, man. Yeah, no, I'll be Phil. Oh, okay. <laughs> From Hercules. From Hercules. Nice. Yeah. That's a deep reference. That's, you know, it's, We've it's, had a couple of Hercules references on this show now. We try we and squeeze one in one an episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, let's get those questions going, huh? You say so? I think so. Do you really mean it? I really... <laughs> I want to see if I can honestly answer these questions in less than six minutes. Because yeah. I know your last guest was just word association. Yeah. <laughs> we got I'm going to really we, try we got him halfway through. We got him halfway through. So for, yeah. for those who don't know, we have a little... We, we, shout out to randomwordgenerator.com, yeah. right? Right? We're keeping them afloat. They have uh, they have a section called random question generator where we uh, we put in. I say uh, we have ten questions and I click generate. And Logan's goal. Logan's a fan of the podcast, so I'm not explaining to him. I'm explaining yeah. to you, mom, <laughs> <laughs> that he has to honestly answer the questions as fast as he can. Now the running bit is that it's never taken any less than like five or six, six minutes. minutes. So you just take as much time as you need. Sure. <laughs> okay. Lo- uh, uh, Ephraim, you got anything else to say? Um, no, but I did thought maybe I would time it. You want me to, do you want me to time it on my phone? Uh, sure. Why not? Sit okay. up. Let's see. We'll get, get we'll myself do it. ready. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we got. This okay. is the first one that we'll, we'll start timing them from here on out. Okay? All right. Ready? And then all, you know, the honest fans, you can go back and see who's actually <clears throat> the best. Okay. All right. Stopwatch. Bells and Whistles podcast. Here we go. Logan Riley Bruner. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, generate. What do you think is the most complex complex oh, aspect about yourself? You're already... The most complex aspect about myself? Yes, sir. I think question. it's what I want to do with my life. Because it's not just acting. It's not just writing. It's not just directing. It's not just like philanthropy or whatever. Um, I really want to be able to do as much as humanly possible to help the people around me, whether that's being a manager, whether that's being a self-tape coach. I just like to do it all. Love it. Wow. How would you describe okay. your sense of humor? Can you give an example? Uh, I have a very dark sense of humor. Um, I laughed at my bones being broken on Stranger Things. Oh. Um, so that might be an example of that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Um, I cried. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a dark sense of humor. Okay, what's something okay. you use regularly that you wish you didn't have to? Oh, something I use regularly that I wish I didn't have deodorant. Deo- oh. You don't want to use deodorant? I wish I didn't have to. I know I have you to. Wish you, you, you wish know you it was just to. taken care of. Yeah. yeah. What are you currently juggling in your life? Uh, 
auditions, Black Wolves, rekindling, I know. rekindling. my two jobs, uh, this podcast. <laughs> this, this, um, this, was the, this is the most important one. Friends, <laughs> yeah. dating. This is, a, this is a really stupid question. Okay. <laughs> What's stopping you? <laughs> What's <laughs> stopping me? What's uh, stopping you? What's money, stopping? time. Um, no, I mean, like, I mean, like... Is that in regards to Resources. what you did? Just in general. Oh, just in general. This What's stopping set, you This could have been the first question. <laughs> Resources. I don't know. Like everything. Yeah. <laughs> the what, American dream. COVID. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What's something interesting about you that few people know? Oh, ooh, I like this one. Um, I want to think of an actual good answer. I'm, I'm ahead on the clock. I know so you I'm are. I'm giving you myself a little bit of time. Yeah, do it. Um, two minutes? Something interesting about myself that not a lot of people know is huh i am a i am a video gamer i'm an avid video gamer yeah, I, okay. I have this skill my friends say that if you hand me a video game within five minutes i'm a master at it uh so Whoa. i'm really really good at video wow. games. wow i'm horrible at video games i was gonna i thought you were gonna say i have this skill that my friends uh, i can tie a cherry stem with my <laughs> No, there's there's a running joke with my friends that like they'll have to start a game before me because if we're doing like a competitive game and yeah. they hand it to me within five minutes I will beat everybody in the room. What's your best wow. video game? Uh, video game that I'm best at is yeah. probably Call of Duty. Oh. oh, right now actually it's Apex Legends. I'm okay. really good at that. Okay. that I couldn't. I would die. All right. What I recent thing it. have you decided that you're completely over and done with? Uh, the Apex Legends. Complaining to complain. <laughs> I'm sick, to complain? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people who are just like, this you is must dumb. Hate uh, us. Yeah, you guys are infuriating. <laughs> uh, no, I just, I'm, especially with like my job, like I'm just tired of people who are Shut like, this sucks. Like, I hate this job. It's like, okay, there's a bunch of other jobs you can go do. Go do them. Like, if you want to say, like, oh, this customer was rude to me, like, fine, I'll take that. But yeah. like, just complaining to be like, this is stupid. I'm like, okay. That's true. Wow, that's what good. Is, that's good. What is it that motivates yourself the most? Um, a desire to create. Love it. What do you spend Sorry. too much time doing? Uh, watching YouTube. Well, what, and TikTok uh, now. Uh, well, what, what kinds of stuff do you watch? Well, I guess I don't want to slow them down. But what, uh, what do you watch on I YouTube? watch a lot of D&D shows. So, like, okay. I watch over on Dropout TV. There's a show called Dimension 20. I watch a lot of Critical Role. Okay. I'm just, okay. like, I get hooked into it, and the episodes are four hours. So, it's just, like, <sighs> time goes away. Final question. What types of things do you doodle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't draw, really. Uh, I used to draw just, like, geometric shapes. I would see, like, how lines could connect to each other and what pictures I could make from that. That's really what I doodle. But I'm such a bad drawer that I just don't do it. You ever do any of your D&D &D characters, anything like that? No, I create most of them on this site called Hero Forge, which allows okay. you to, like, create a miniature of your character. And so, like, I just use that to, to create whoever I'm playing. You ever, like, write your name, you know, with your with your celebrity crush as the last name? Uh, I did that in the past, but I have not done that currently <laughs> when i was like 10 sure but not anymore that's what i do <laughs> what i do I, from i put ryan oh, riley bruner <laughs> <laughs> smoking riley bruner ladies and gentlemen we go. Rapid fire. And well, new record done. of four minutes and 24 four seconds. minutes next podcast uh guess what the fuck is your excuse you loser <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I gave some good answer to those. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> well done. Well I always done. wrote. There you are. Well I always done. wrote. I always wrote. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a funny celebrity crush. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that you said the last name thing because this is a total tangent. But yeah, like, yeah. I've, the whole podcast is a tangent. But <laughs> I, I have in my life been like, if my wife had a cooler last name than mine, I would take it. You think so? Yeah. I think that's the most disgusting masculine thing about me is that i would never you would never do it no i would you want to always... be a quigley forever yeah i don't think i'd care if my wife takes my last name anymore. i can't I, I, I can't i i would be so shocked if someone took bernie <laughs> <laughs> I, there's nothing wrong with bernie no it? but I'm just, last like, name. I, I'm just like well unless, unless like look unless your name is like dickhead <laughs> <laughs> you unless your nick unless your last name yeah. is quigley Francine like, dickhead. Stupid. yeah like, quigley yeah no, yeah man know. That's good I don't stuff. know. Like I think that's I think that's good, but that's I don't fun. I don't know if you could get much better than Riley Bruner. But I guess they wouldn't take the Riley; they would take the Bruner. Yeah, 
Yeah. Riley's the middle. <laughs> I would take yeah. the Riley. I was going to be Logan Riley. Riley for a little while yeah. for my actor name, but actor Logan Riley name. Brenner just I told I, I, <laughs> The L-R-B. douchiest thing about me is that I, I played around with being RK Quigley. <laughs> I think that's really good. Yeah. I actually wish it would go back. But... <laughs> I don't know if we would have been friends. <laughs> RK I Quigley. I don't blame you. I, did. No, I never I had a, I name. never knew what to do with Ephraim. Uh, if you guys, if you I'll have something in the comment section, say what you should do with Ephraim. I'll tell you, that's enough. E Bernie. That's it. Ephraim's enough. I used to go by. your sister was like, I got to shorten it. Yeah, I got to shorten it. Yes. Yeah. I thought about going being Ephraim McDowell for a bit, just going off of the middle names. Oh, really? Yeah. But then, uh, you know, that's then I'm exactly like the doctor that I'm named after. <laughs> and then I become a, I become the hysterectomy guy. The product. The, the, the product. <laughs> they, I'll tell you, I've heard about, uh, you know, people talk about you behind your back. They already yeah. call you the hysterectomy guy. <laughs> they call me. It's already your nickname. The hysterectomy buddy. Hysterectomy it's guy. already done. The damage is done. The damage is done. All right. All right. Well, let's see. We're an hour and 12 minutes in. Do we want to do some plugs and, and wrap this bad you boy up? You want to wrap up? it up? Anything else we need to touch on? I'm trying to think. You know, like, you're, you, you've got so many layers. I'm going to put these back on. What Just else is the, on your mind? Bit. Anything else you want to throw you out like to the world? You vent. have a weekly podcast. You're not allowed to pitch yet. Yeah. You're not allowed to pitch we yet. Used to, we did a weekly podcast. It's on pause. That's We're taking fine. a break. There's a, there's a spoiler cast for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness coming out from our channel soon. I love this. We've got podcast. interviews. We just did. I sense uh, that you're plugging. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I told sorry, you, sorry. I told no you none of that. No plug. You talked about my podcast. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm all, this is my podcast. <laughs> I'm calling the shots here, okay? <laughs> what do you want me to talk about, Ryan? <laughs> Whatever's on your mind that doesn't have That's a vested interest. That's not a plug. No, exactly. What's okay. on your mind? You want what's to on my up? mind? Oh, I got something. Do you want what's on my mind or do you want your thing? Oh, I want your thing and then I'll do mine. Oh, okay. man. Uh, man what's on oh, my man. mind that's not a plug uh-huh. is I just want to say thank you to oh. everyone who's been so supportive for the past like week and a half of Stranger Things being out and the time that's been since this episode comes out. People have been incredibly kind. It's been really heartwarming to just see the art and the edits and just how Cut in quick are. so when this clip goes viral, they have to see our faces too. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. My, yeah. my, um, <laughs> and you look like Fred. He's on a podcast. He's on a podcast. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. 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 You're continue. To continue. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate it. I also really appreciate Ryan and Ephraim for having me on the show. Uh, I've been asking them ever since the Hear Me Out podcast to bring me on, and they were always like, you're not important enough. But then I got Stranger <laughs> Things, and all of a sudden, they started calling me nonstop. It's true. It's crazy. Well, and just I, like, I texted just say, Ephraim uh-huh. and was like, hey, can I be on the podcast? And he was like, we want to wait until you well, have something like, important yeah. to talk about. I'm glad that you caught on to that. <laughs> <laughs> we want to wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> In other words, if you have something important, stop fucking around. No no bullshit. But if, you, if you're actually important, you can come on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Obama? Yeah, Obama, we're talking yeah. to you, baby. We're babe. talking to you, baby. This is yeah. the second time we've asked for Obama on this podcast. And he's no no callback. No, no callback. Yeah. No no nothing. It's what true. do you got? What do you got for me? We have beef. Oh, do we? Do you oh, remember this? We gotta put this in at the end. Back when you asked to be on the podcast and we rejected you. <laughs> yeah. It was right after we had watched No Mad Man, Nomad Land and uh King Richard. Right. We loved King Richard and hated Nomad Land. I know. You. I did not see Nomadland. That stance is... Oh! Okay. But I, did not, I did not love King Richard. You what was the beef with King, King Richard? And then I want to... Because our, our King Richard stuff has aged like milk. <laughs> it really is yeah. true. Yeah. The actor that was in that that won an Oscar for it didn't really... Uh, he, 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 he had some problems in the media recently. We don't. Yeah, we're not. Uh, he's you know, not so much of really a king good, anymore. He was really good in the movie. Yeah, he was good so in the movie. Yeah. my issue with King Richard, right, is I feel like it's a story about two very powerful black women that's been reduced to how a man made them who they are. That's my big issue with it. I would love to see the Venus and Serena story as the Venus and Serena story, and not as here's how their dad created Venus and Serena. I, I want you to have. I, I cannot wait to see what your re, what your rebuttal is to, to that. Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead. <laughs> the floor. You know what? I'll sit my beer. The floor say wrong? is yours. You know, I really. Uh, I think I hate King Richard. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I really. You know, that really has awoken me. <laughs> no, I think the movie was. It. It was never pretending to really be the Serena and Venus story. It was about King Richard, and that was just a story that I guess not a lot of people knew, and that's the story that we're telling. If you want, if that's your your beef with it, nobody can argue with that. Right. Yeah. Nobody can argue with that. That's, yeah. that that's perfectly fine. I 
have a funny feeling that the Venus and Serena story has probably been told, you know, a couple times over in many different ways. You know, there's not very many people who don't know. Got in the movie. That's probably right, and that's probably fair. Uh, But I never knew about King Richard. I never knew about it. I do think that I do think you've got some merit there in the sense that, like, this is a side of this that we didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, And I and. You know, I can't. You can't fault. Um, you can't fault. Uh, what's his name? Will Smith. Um, you can't, really trying to distance yeah. yourself that much? You're yeah, like, I can't even name? remember yeah. his name. You can't fault. What's his name? Will Smith Jada's for like, executive producing and funding a movie and then wanting to make it about himself. The, himself in it. Um, I I do think there I could don't have think been, yeah. I, I maybe I'm giving too much credit. I don't yeah. think that was ever something in his mind. I, I don't think that that what? was. Oh, I think he produced no. that movie, being like, "I'm no, gonna this is play gonna be my Richard." I... Don't you think that that was always kind of the the under the Maybe, undertone was that this was I, gonna you, be his I, Oscar? Uh, perhaps, but I, don't, I you don't think that he wanted to tell the story of King Richard too? I think that was. I'm oh, just saying. Well, I, I don't know, doubt. Yeah, I think that's I think King Richard is, is least... like remarkably similar to Will Smith. Exactly. Just as two guys, it, it, you couldn't get a better guy to play him. Um, right, and I think that you could. Yeah. I think that when you say, "Oh, it should be a, about Venus and Serena, uh, Serena," you're probably discounting the experience of a lot of black fathers, sure, who probably took a lot of pride in that movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do think. I, I do think it's. Uh, I you know, regardless of what it stood for, because yeah. I I stand for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. Uh, we all know. Um, regardless Man of what it stands for, I, nothing falls for it. <laughs> falls for it. <laughs> falls for Come on, Aaron Burr. Fool me once. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, what I really loved about it was just how, you know, it really did feel like this sort of tour de force. And it, it's, it's a sad to say, it's sad to say because, you know, he's kind of fallen out of fashion as of late. All his but movies I, getting yeah. canceled. Yeah. But I, I really did. I really did think that he was pretty spectacular. I thought he it was really, really well. good. Yeah. Yeah. No. For what the movie was. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. And I love those impressive. little girls. I, you know, they I were thought, great. Yeah, I thought yeah, they, they were, were fantastic in it. And you know, that you you probably make an argument that they could have been in it more. But um, I wish I knew their names. I wish I knew the name of the wife. She she was oh, yeah, she phenomenal. She was very smacked good. me across the room. I watched it on the plane ride coming back. Yeah, no. Uh-huh. Now let's talk to him about Nomadland because I hated that fucking movie. Still haven't seen it. We've also been spreading misinformation about it. Is the other thing the, that woman? Oh, did, you want to? She did not die. die. The woman didn't actually. The woman die. didn't die. In my <laughs> heart, in my heart, um, she lives on. <laughs> and said in, she died of hypothermia. <laughs> you just made shit up. You gotta up. go back. You gotta go back and watch you that made episode. Shit That's up. such a funny bit. <laughs> <laughs> she died. That I thought that poor woman died of freezing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, no, um, she's still alive. She's still out there. Okay. Um, uh, right. I think I, I, just, I, think, I, thought, I I thought you'd seen it and you liked the movie. No, I rest okay. on my laurel no. saying I just did not think it was an interesting movie. I don't like that she poops in the bucket in front of me. <laughs> anytime that some, anytime a movie does that, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to say no. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of one actor everyone else is just a regular person and we're gonna put a camera on the movies yeah i feel like at least for me it kind of discounts writers it's kind of like oh you don't need somebody to write a script we'll just yeah. throw a camera up and make a movie and it'll right. be brilliant and it's like okay well you just filmed a bunch of people you made a documentary and then you asked yeah. an actor to like act in it yeah and as I far as i'm it. concerned i oh. didn't really think her character needed to be in it it could have just yeah, been I think a documentary. You just make a documentary about these cool people that live in their cars. Yeah, no. And at the same rate for me, the message was totally lost. I'll be honest. I yeah. know I'm I'm the bad guy in this podcast. No, now, no, 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 no. Yeah, it, I'm right there with you. I, I, uh, I, yeah, hey guys, go inside. <laughs> hey guys, you know, go inside g- and watch g- and watch King Richard. <laughs> yeah, get out, get out. You know, leave the desert, man. <laughs> <laughs> leave the desert. <laughs> you know. Stop <laughs> shitting in the bucket. Go, go that's inside. Big. No, please. that's big. It's important. That's my main. Our big thing, thing was the one that you, the one that we didn't see but didn't like was Dune, and you liked Dune. Yes, oh, that was our Dune. Beef. That was our beef. I love Dune. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you watched Dune. I didn't watch Dune. I watched it. Yeah, I hated it. You hated it a lot. This is the beef. Okay. Talk about you. Everything I didn't like about Nomadland, even worse. They didn't even have. They didn't even have. Uh, you know, funny people in the desert for this one. Talk about see, get out the desert. See, I'm a huge. I'm a huge sci-fi guy. I really love. Did you read the books? Uh, no, Jeremy did, and okay. he loved them. 
And so he was believe. already going in. <laughs> Our Lyft driver read the books. Oh, I've heard uh-huh, this story. Yeah, yeah no, we. I won't tell this story yeah. anymore because we've already said it on the podcast. He, he uh, like, he got me really into it, and I was really excited to see the movie. And I thought the movie was really fun. I wish Zendaya had been in more of it, having been promoted as like the number two person. She had on six the words. Yeah, she had um, six words. Yep. She wasn't in the first seventy-five percent of the movie. Yeah, uh, and it's just I Timothy think... Chalamet with his sucked-up face. Hey, just listen, going, I like Timothy just Chalamet. Going, uh, Tim I thought Tam. he gave a great performance in that movie. Uh, Do you like Tim Tam in most things or no? So I've liked him in a lot of the things that he's You're done. I like him in a lot of the things that he's done. I hope that I work I with him. I have to be okay. the next king. Oh, fucking <laughs> shut up, Timmy. He you welcome on the podcast king anytime. Richard. Yeah. The next King Richard. Ugh, I hated That's that movie. Thing. That movie was a big snore for me. Big I liked snore. it. I thought it was exciting. All right. Oh, wow. Me, I haven't seen it and I never will. <laughs> all right, you all right what do you want to get to pitching let's get you yeah, throw your pitches out into that camera well, right there. You know, i know the ru- we there's don't a rule make it that there's easy oh, oh i'm not yeah, singing true. there's not a shot that i'm singing you're not okay. gonna sing well all right what you have to do now then is that you have nominate to nominate and create a rule yeah nominate and create should we a rule. give him a previously nominated rule um all the ones were specific to like different people like um uh, i mean i know i i listened to aaron delavilla's yeah. podcast i know what rules he gave and i've yeah. got i've got some idea. i've i was planning yeah you've on the planning. way here i was prepping Whoa. what did dobbins do yeah. what did he dobbins said you have suggest? to use a slur <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, no, so, da, da, Dave, we'll save that for your next Dobby, podcast. Dobby, baby, guest. we love yeah. you. I have, I have two serious okay. uh, suggestions for the podcast and two people that I do not think you're ever going to get. Reaches. Uh, but we love but you know I'm going to say them anyway. But yeah, give us the fun. safety schools. So uh, your safety schools first. Yeah. Uh, first up, Jeremy Suarez. When Brandon he pitches, guy. we'll have to have Ephraim sit on his lap. That's my rule. It seems like something that I was already going to be doing. <laughs> but, uh, JVS, baby. Yeah. We'll see it. Neon Burgundy. Uh, and Jacob does have to sing for his pitch. That's my rule for wow. him. Wow. He might play the guitar himself. Yeah. He's Jacob has voice. to play the guitar while he's he... has got a great voice. That's a shame because Jeremy's got a great voice, too. Yeah. He but might maybe he'll decide sing, to sing. Yeah, and get out of it. He okay. might get you sitting on his lap and singing. Yeah. I'm Who knows? Tell, I'm telling you, not many people would uh, pass up that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my two reaches, who I don't know how this would ever be possible but i do think it would be a lot of fun um i think you guys should have natalia dyer and maya hawk on your show oh, come, oh, on, guys. Love come that. on come, come on. on down guys come on we're gonna we've got uh, <laughs> you like you coming got, to historia <laughs> you think i've got fan fiction for for logan just you just wait <laughs> for what i've dug up on you guys yeah natalia uh you know this could be your act you can get a tax deduction if you go do this podcast <laughs> it's a charity it's the charity event, it's a charitable guys. donation <laughs> it is it is <laughs> if you want i guess but yeah i think they'd i think they'd have a lot of fun and honestly i think joe curie would have a ton of fun on this podcast joe. he's a really great guy joe he's not returning my calls <laughs> yeah maybe he'll return one of mine that's joe. nice joe babe God. all right sure yeah we'll we'll ask <laughs> them <laughs> my two my two safeties and my three reaches so sounds you're, good you're you're in a very, you know, you're in a very uh, peachy position because we don't have a, a condition that you have to apply. To I know. right now, so yeah. you're in a great. You, you get to you get a free pass. I get a free pitch. A but pass. Jeremy and Jacob, dun, dun, dun. the two Black Wolves boys. I knew I had to give them something complicated. And then what we really ought to do, I'll say it right here and now, we ought to have a, a melding of the of the yeah, a, a crossover that. event. Maybe we do Cross- it on your well, channel. We get about yeah. five six cameras, eh? Uh huh. We'll all, we'll all, well, you guys had enough for spoiler cast. We, I mean, we all just we cram on We had three on, on each camera, yeah. 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 Um, well, I don't know. Right. We'll do it, we'll do it right then and there. We'll, we'll do we'll it right then that. and there. <laughs> Bring him on in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you've accomplished everything that we've asked of you. Uh-huh. You've earned the right. Look into the camera. Tell fucking America what, let me center you nice and pretty. Let me center you just so you're nice and perfect. Tell America what the fuck to do. Where you need, where where are they can find you? What are you what are you asking of them? Hi America and the world at large. If you're not in America watching this podcast, you know I'm not going to be a bigot like Ryan is. Uh, we do have a couple in Belgium. <laughs> Ooh, hey Belgium, how we're, you doing? We're big in Belgium, baby. Yeah. Um, my name is Logan Riley Bruner. Uh, as they've said a bunch of times, I act. Uh, you can see me in season four of Stranger Things as Fred Benson. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok at Logan Riley Bruner. Now. You can uh, follow my production company, Black Wolves Productions, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, we have a bunch of stuff there. We've got this new series, Rekindling, that's coming. We're uh, releasing behind the scenes every couple couple days for that. That's been really exciting. I take my shirt off in it. 
Um, you do? Eventually, not yet. Yeah, we I'll haven't done it. that yet. We're getting there. So I'll watch Got to call, call our intimacy coordinator, yeah. Oh, so I got to get, I have to start losing Yeah, work weight. out, yeah. <laughs> um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, because I have meetings this week, uh, you will be hearing from me as a writer soon, because I have some scripts that some people are interested in. So hopefully I'll be able to plug those what movies. What the fuck? Going forward. What the fuck? How How do we get, wait, 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 we're an hour and 26 minutes and he just now says that he's going to be, you know, the next did, biggest I think he, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for us to shut off the camera so he can tell us what it's about. Oh, man. Well, guys, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Thank you for coming on the podcast, Logan. It was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> we got to say thank you. First and foremost, do everything this man said. But if you're oh, watching... Oh, wait. Our... I have one more thing to add. Oh, it's okay. all yours, babe. Unsubscribe. Uh, <laughs> make sure... If you've watched this far in the video because you like me, I know you have. Uh, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Oh my god! You subscribe to Three Ways to Survive, Ugh. and you subscribe to another fucking Let's Play, three phenomenal channels oh run by my friends, <laughs> Ryan and Eve from Bernie! Oh shit! <laughs> this has been terrible. the Bells and Whistles Podcast! What are we having done? We didn't need to do it! We didn't need to do it, boys. Oh, this is gonna be the best day of my life. <laughs> uh, guys, um, Do you want to do the sign-off as well? Yeah. Do you know how it's... Are you smart? How, how big a fan are you? What do I say at the end of every podcast? Say every podcast? I, I, this one I don't remember. I normally turn it off before the very, very yeah. end. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. It's like during the plugs, I'm like, all right, we're uh, good. Time to do it. I am shell-shocked. What's uh? You go ahead and do it. I'll do my little thing, buddy. Guys, Logan Riley Bruner. Logan Thanks Riley Bruner. You are incredibly talented. Uh, you're so fucking good at at least visually, virtually every single thing that you do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to be your friend. Same. I'm excited to be next to you and sucking off your teeth <laughs> as you progressively take over the you industry. You said that in your interview for I Black do. Wolf. So, and I mean it. I do it. I mean it. Uh -huh. And I really am excited to do it. Uh, what a fucking pleasure. What a fun conversation. Yeah, this was great. You know, I'm going to see you tomorrow, I think. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. We love you. All right. Anything else? Um, just like always, um, keep those things stranger and um, I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> and don't be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>